to is some practical moves that she could be doing right now that doesn't cost her any money, it just costs her time to focus on and pay attention to. Which is, I'm literally just gonna break down uh, everything that I'm doing right now in my business before I had an actual business, okay? Because for the first, I would say, six months of me making videos on YouTube, I didn't actually have a business yet. I wasn't incorporated. I didn't have, you know, my articles of incorporation. I didn't have none of that. All I had was, you know, the purpose, the dream that I wanted to obtain. And there are ways that you can, you know, still collect money, right? There's ways that you can still collect money uh, even without a business up until, you know, you can afford to actually get the business. Uh, here's going to be some stuff that I want her to work on, okay? Is at some point, we definitely want to increase our capital, right? Increase the line of credit, always. And if, and if 15K was the max at that bank, hey, we go to another bank. Open up another line of credit, okay? That's higher, 20, 25,000, whatever it is. We are going to, and I told her this, we need to create content, but let's dive into what that really means, because that, that can mean a lot and people get confused, okay? So we need for, for her, and, I'm, and I, I know her personally, but I'm talking to you guys at the same time, is we want to answer those four major questions in life. Who am I? Why am I here? Where am I going? And uh, what's my purpose in life, okay? What you can do in terms of creating content is figure out your favorite platform, okay? Your, what is your favorite social media platform? Okay, favorite social media platform, okay? This is for people that are just starting out. This is mediocre, practical. Anyone can do this, right? You, whichever one you go to, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, hey, pick one that you're going to dedicate majority of your time to, all right? So let's just say it's YouTube, all right? If it's YouTube, you're immediately going to also get a free account with TubeBuddy. That'll be the first thing I recommend you do. So we got YouTube, TubeBuddy, all right? That's free. There's paid versions, but just go with the free one. It's gonna help you in terms of managing your channel, okay? You first need to create a channel as well. You're gonna, you're gonna name it, you can name it your name, or you can name it what you do, what you teach, something. You can always uh, change it later, but what I did to kinda uh, not shoot myself in the foot by naming it something weird or something that I won't like, in a couple of years from now, is I named it my name. I'll always like my name. And I always, I recommend having your name across all boards, spelt properly, you know, not with dashes and money signs and all that stuff. Just make it real simple because when people go to look you up, you can just say, hey, my name is Denzel Rodriguez. Just type in Denzel Rodriguez anywhere. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn. I'll pop up, they'll see my face, I'm in person. Oh, is that you? Yeah, boom. So it's pretty quick. Instead of having like a long, ridiculous name. So create a channel. Uh, keep it simple in terms of the name and what you're going to maybe call yourself on social media. Okay, keep it simple in terms of the name. And the goal is that you're going to create one to two pieces of content every day for 90 days, all right? But you, you cannot deviate from this. You have to be very consistent, 90 days straight, okay? Keyword consistent. It's best to do video because with video, you can then turn it into so many other things. You can create a blog out of it. You can uh, repost it on other 
social media platform. So for example, if YouTube is the main uh, account that you're gonna spend all of your time on, and what you can easily do is, once you've uploaded a video to YouTube, you can simply upload a video to LinkedIn and upload the video to Instagram and upload it to Facebook, depending on how long it is, right? My recommendation when you're first starting out is, uh, you know, quick videos, maybe five to 15 minutes, depends on what you're doing. If you're doing like how-to videos like me, you really don't have a time frame. You do wanna be brief. Now that I look back, I look at my older videos, I'm like, get to the freaking point, Denzel, you know? But <clears throat> you wanna be mindful of the time that you're on camera. You don't wanna to elaborate too much. You wanna get right to the point, tell them how you feel, share your story, share your why, share your message. So in terms of creating the content, once you know your four major questions in life, all you have to do is create content based off your purpose in terms of what you're selling. So if you're gonna be selling the infinite banking concept, uh, 10X, velocity banking, uh, a, a health product, whatever it is, be sure to share you first. Okay, people will align with you more than they will the product. The product is like an added on feature for them because they get to connect with you more. So be sure when you're creating videos, right? And you can use your phone. It's a simple stuff. You can use your phone. You can buy a tripod for less than $30 and a simple lapel mic for maybe 60 bucks, 80 bucks. Okay. You don't have to spend too much money. You can have a budget of literally $200 or less in terms of creating the content. All right. And this is simultaneously while my client is doing velocity banking we can squeeze 200 in between those months that we're doing velocity banking easily easily and we can squeeze 5 to 15 minutes a day in terms of her um, you know work her life things like that now to make life super easy is for those first 90 days you don't actually need to post anything live or public right you can you can make all your all your content private or unlisted right and just start building the content we want to do what's called batching you want to batch a lot of content together that you're going to you know put out into the world but create a schedule out of that batch so out of 90 once you have 90 pieces of content right bunch of videos and you you know you can maybe do it before 30 days 60 days 90 days but from when we're doing velocity banking with her she's got six months so half that time to to take the time now to start doing this so you can take a couple months to figure out your why what you want to do what you want to sell what do you want to bring to the marketplace what value do you have what's your purpose formulate it you start creating the content, doesn't matter if the content sucks and the audio's bad and the lighting's bad, it's okay. You do your best. Put it out there, five to 15 minute video pieces. Do it in batching in what, you know, either series, do like a series. People love series. Or, you know, part one, two, three, four, five. You know, part one, two, three, four, five something like that, or just a series, a topic that you're gonna break down over the course of six to 10 videos. That'll make your life a lot easier, a lot easier. Once we have a nice batch of content, whether it's 30, 60, or 90 pieces of content, then you create the schedule. The schedule should be one video every single day because now you've got 90 days to work with, right? So what you can do is while that content is getting pushed out onto all the platforms, right? You start with your favorite one, and then simultaneously you can be uploading it, the same exact content. You can upload it to a different platform that will allow it, you know? So that if you have a video less than 10 minutes, you can post that one video on YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, 
that's considered four pieces of content. It's one, but it's considered four because you have four different types of people on all those platforms that you're going to be reaching. Okay, so if you got 15 views on YouTube, 10 views on Facebook, eight views on Instagram, 50 views on LinkedIn, understand those are different views. That total, that's like a hundred, almost a hundred people. Okay, so it's not always this it's not going to be the same people that's another you know advantage of you spreading it out all right so we got the series part we're batching before you even put it out keep it private keep it unlisted work your titles you can create what's they've got these you know tags thumbnails okay there's the there's the description box so you can write some things in there, come up with your title that you want to come up with. She can be doing all this while Velocity Bank. This does, does not take a whole lot of time, people. It's very simple. Okay, does not take a whole lot of time. The, the real main barrier is getting over that nervousness and whatnot. Just getting past all that. The fastest way for her to 10x her life is going to be creating content. And I'm giving her those little things that she can start creating a system, creating a plan to execute that without feeling overwhelmed with having to create videos, having to get behind the camera and find the perfect lighting. It's just a matter of doing it and having so many videos to work with that you can look back on and say, okay, that looked really nice and that didn't look so nice or whatever the case may be.